Hi everyone, welcome to Fog Academy. See in the circuit, here three voltage sources are given and it was connected to a resistor having one loop and asking that how to find power supplied by each source. Next, how to find power dissipated by a resistor. How can you find it? This is the problem. For that, first of all find current I in this loop. How can you find it? So according to KVL theorem, we know that the sum of all voltages in the loop is equal to 0. So let here the voltage is V1 and here V2 and here V3 and this is here voltage V4 drop. The sum of all voltages is equal to 0 according to KVL. That is V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus V4 equal to 0. Now here the current direction is in this way. So at that time how can we take the voltage values? So start from V1. So the current is coming like this and going like this in the minus 8 volts. So the entering point is minus. That means minus of this voltage minus 8 volts plus next V2. Entering point is minus, so minus 12 volts plus and in V3 the current entering point is plus sign is there. So take plus 10 volts. Next the resistance value is taken as positive that is I R according to Ohm's law. R is 3 ohms. So I into 3. That equal to 0. So minus of minus plus 8 minus 12 plus 10 plus 3i equal to 0. 10 plus 8, 18. 18 minus 12 plus 6. That is 6 plus 3i equal to 0. So from this 3i equal to minus 6. So i equal to minus 2 amperes. So this is the current in the given circuit. Now we know that how to find power. We have two formulas are there. That is power equal to I square R and power equal to V into I. Now first of all find power that is in the resistor. That is dissipated power. That is P equal to I we got minus 2. So minus 2 whole square and, and across resistor that is 3 ohms. So by simplifying this, we will get 12 watts. Now find power supplied by each source. So let here this is the power is P1 and here P2 power and here P3 power. So use this formula. So P1 equal to V is here minus 8 into current I is we got minus 2. That's equal to 16 watts and power P2 equal to so current I is minus 2 and power so voltage is 12 so from this we we'll get minus 24 watts now power P3 that's equal to current is minus 2 and power we want in 10 volts that is minus 20 watts so these are the powers supplied by each sources and this is the power dissipated in the resistor and this is the process of simplification and thanks for watching please subscribe like share thanks